Hello, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name's Diane. Thanks for coming by. I've been so busy with my mural. Um, those of you who know I'm an artist, I do murals and other art, but I've been so tired working outside in the sun and all that. So I'm finally getting back to doing some videos. I'll be done with my mural this next week. And um, today I'm going to look into some of these political things, but also um, Trump's energy and his health. I wanted to see if he was going to uh, if there was any change between now and the inauguration with him, I looked into the ambulances at Mar-a-Lago to see what that was about. I also um, going to, I had a couple questions. Somebody had asked about the voting machines and some of the Republicans had the old software because they were trying to analyze it to see if the election was rigged in 2020. And somebody had asked if they had, you know, that now that they knew the software, they could reconfigure it or hack it somehow. So I'm going to answer that. And somebody had asked if, if Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset and if she'd give us up to Russia. I'll look at that. And um, yeah, and I also wanted to talk about um, fear and anxiety. I'm not immune to it. It's There's a lot going on right now. And there's a lot of people running around with our hair's on fire kind of situation, crises, crises, crises. But I want to say that every day we're going to get through this. Um, we take one thing at a time. And there half the country didn't vote for the Trump presidency, half did. But there'll be a lot of people that will be disappointed and very upset. And they will have buyer's remorse because of what they chose. So over time, the chaos, the indis the... Um, self-aggrandizing decisions that Trump makes, the lack of uh, focus and the chaos that he brings to the presidency is going to resume. And hopefully there won't be any pandemics. I don't think that's going to happen. But it will, over time, people will remember. I, we have such short attention spans in the American, in the United States. It's terrible. Um, but... Just wanted to say, that's going to happen. I'm going to pull some cards. Oh, yeah, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I decided I'm going to go into her energy. And if you haven't been here before, I see images. I get into people's energy, and I see things from their perspective. And like I said about Trump and other people, I see what they see and get the feeling of what they're feeling in that moment. So I'm going to read on her and see what she's saying about the situation we're in right now. Um, yeah, so let's get started. to mention this thank you guys thank you for all my new subscribers thank you thank you all for sharing liking commenting even the little hearts and all that adds up to my algorithm and I really appreciate it um, it's helping this little community we have grow which is fantastic first of all I wanted to mention so um, I well I already said first of all <laughs> uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to explain to you when I meditated on Trump's health and I got into his energy, what I saw. I first felt like I'm coughing. So when I'm in his energy, I literally see what he sees. And in my images in the past, if those of you who have been here, I see him as a big broken chocolate cake. Well, it's orange cake with chocolate frosting on the floor. Still not good. Still not back together. He's still melting and kind of disintegrating. But when I'm in his energy as a man, I see, I immediately feel like I'm coughing. Uh, <clears throat> like something, it's like a lingering cough you'd have after you have a cold or some sort of chest infection. That's the feeling I have. But I don't feel like he's, you know, on his deathbed or anything. I feel like he's still working. I feel like he's, um, I saw him, everybody is happy around him. They're all like super excited and they're all like talking, talking, talking. And they're like, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And they're all amped up. Some may be fueled by some illegal substances. I don't know. I'm picturing Don Jr. Um, but um, our Donnie, Donnie Sr. is still in the seat. He's still in command. He's still on the throne. I don't feel like he is a fading physically yet. His cake is still broken, but he's still there. Um, but I do see him as I'm in his energy. I see all these papers and I see him cranking out like the old, um, 
mimeograph. Is that what it was called in, in high school? It was a machine where you turn this crank and it made copies. I think that was called a mimeograph. Anyway, that's what reminded me of. He's just making all these papers, these documents, he's churning them out. And as he's looking at all these people, um, he sees them as a characters on like a sitcom or a reality show. It's not quite a reality show. It's more of a made up show, like a drama or a, you know, entertainment show. And he's picking characters that will engage the public and tell the story. And I know all the women he picks are generally pretty and all the men and them, they're all loyalists. We all know that. But it's all about image and it's all about the storyline. It's a funny way that he's looking at them. He's got them all lined up like you'd have a TV show and they're all their characters and they have their script. He's sort of planning that. And I know in the past he's so good at marketing that he would always say, oh, I'm going to do this thing next week or two weeks down the road. Come back and we'll talk about it. Or he always leaves you hanging like he's got something working. Not doesn't though, but that's what he says. So I wanted to share with you about that. And there is a fly buzzing around. And I don't know why it's in this room. It's closed off. I don't know what it's a sign of. Um, but demands okay um and they are all do i also saw them like groveling and doing exactly what he wants they are like yes sir yes sir yes sir and i'm not telling you guys anything this isn't really any crazy thing that i'm telling you but he's like a master puppeteer that was the other thing it's like a master puppeteer or a master director of this show this show of American government or the presidency that he is running. So happy. He's so thrilled. But yeah, the cough. Now I looked into the ambulances at Mar-a-Lago and um, he, they said, or the you know press release was that they were just practicing for Vance. I don't understand what that was. Why? What I, what I saw was yes, it was a, a practice kind of run, but it was a practice in a way how to s sneak out. And I don't necessarily know if it's the ambulances were just vehicles that they were using as um, they were there. And so they were using those to practice if they have to sneak out and like disguise something. So say somebody, you know, like when you're watching a show and they have say, you know, you'd get this guy needs to leave the building. So he disguises himself and he goes out as a janitor or whatever. And that's how it is. I feel like they're practicing some sort of bait and switch masquerade thing. And I don't know why it would be at Mar-a-Lago but there's something that they're practicing in case I don't think it's because of danger. It could be, but it, it's more about, we don't want people to know what we're doing over here. So we're going to show this over here. It's a distraction. Look over here. Don't look over here what I'm doing. So that's what that was. Um, it also could be related to a future health event for him. That is also a possibility because they do not want to show if he was ill um, and maybe this recent cough or this recent illness has brought that to their attention where they need to be ready to have this distraction uh, system mechanism plan in place so that we won't think he's weak. So. It's there. He's aiming it. He said it was for about Vance or whatever, but I don't think so. Um, yeah. And I was watching, who was I watching? And they were saying how he didn't like Vance. Oh, the astrologer. I was listening to some astrologer. Was it? Maybe it was Joyce All Knowing Tarot. Anyway, she does astrology and numerology. And she was reading their charts and she was saying how Vance, because he's a Leo. And Trump has a Leo ascendant, so that's a good matchup as friends, or it's a good combination. But two Leos, somebody's got to be in charge. They do not, you can't have two kings or two chairmen of the board. It's only going to be one. 
So there's going to be some fighting. And Vance is younger and he's very ambitious. He's a different person, obviously. But he, um, the muskrat, and even Ramaswamy, Vance and all that. There are, it's like in the kingdom of the lion, you know, king of the hill or the lion king. You get all of these guys that are trying to take him off his his hill or his throne but they're going to kill each other before that even they can get him i do not see musk staying in long um i think they'll probably come up with a saying well he's going to do this over here and he's going to be part of this other corporate um channel connection government link he's going to work outside of that to work with us because they they won't be able to work together now, when I asked about the inauguration, when I see the end of this month, November, because today is the 23rd, it's Saturday, um, and I see it lighter, I see it's like a big table, like you would think a table and service, um, eating, restaurants, family, I see it light, so it's so open. There's an open-ended time in this next, to the end of the month. And I know he's been rapid fire getting all these cabinet picks, but this feels more like there's a break. Um, and it's just kind of waiting. That's the feeling I get. There's not a lot that he's putting in place right now. I know he's got a lot already on there and he's trying to get everything in before December 3rd, I think. But um, I just saw this big empty space. Then when I look to the inauguration, which is, you know, two months away, the end of December, I still see a dark um, period. It's like the last 10 days. It's a, it's a heavy blackness. And I don't know what that is. If it's illness or if it's crises in the public or there's some other um, information that gets found out. It doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like, oh, they found like 20 million votes. It's it's more about, and I tried to figure it out a couple of videos ago, and I couldn't figure out what that was. But when I asked about the inauguration, I got grief and see all these people grieving over, because I guess these are my crow cards. They do grieve over each other's passing. And then communication and how it's going to be read. But see, there's a knife and there's, he's, he's calling for his bowl to be filled. He's like, hey, come on, I'm here every day. Come and take care of me. Something is going to change by the end of the year. That's, that's the feeling I got. Um, when I, that, and that was specifically for the inauguration. I don't necessarily think he's going to leave the earth. But I do feel like there's something, maybe it's a shift in the relationships or something, which I know Vance can't just take over, but um, gifts. Hmm. Well, maybe. Gifts. There'll be something that we'll find out that another country has done to make this the way it is right now. And I put on my community page, just side note, because I had talked about this in a previous video, that when I talk to my son, young men don't get their news generally from CNN or MSNBC or even the New York Times. They're on social media. Listen to Joe Rogan's podcast. Listen to podcasts and all over the place. They don't discern. They don't, you know... Maybe some do. Like my son is a critical thinker, so he puts the pieces together. But guys, some guys just like somebody, tough guy, kind of. And so Trump and his people went out to all those places and they got those votes. And Harris really, she went to a few, but she didn't go into these um, more... Um, controversial, I don't know if controversial is too strong of a word, but 
podcasts that are folk they're more right wing. Um, and, and when she did, I think she went on Charlemagne the God and stuff, but she was still too scripted and that she people want real conversations. And that's where I think they could have been the same outcome. Could have been. Um, some people just didn't come out to vote. And that was another question I had. Where were these women, anti-abortion ban women? I think some of them, it was just immigration and inflation, economy overrode many of those. And some of them just stayed home because they didn't like Harris. They didn't like him. I, that's my theory. It could be totally off base, totally wrong, but that's what I'm getting. Um, okay, let's cabinet picks. Now, our buddy Matt Gates, I didn't think he would make it. I said that in a previous video. I didn't know how he would not make it, but he didn't. He thought he was too much of a distraction. So I don't also see that uh, Peter Hegseth for the Department of Defense. He doesn't have the um, skills or the background experience. And he's got some sexual uh, harassment um, accusers. Although he said he's completely innocent. I don't know why he paid them, but he's innocent, he said. Anyway, he doesn't have the ability to do that. Um, so Trump will find somebody else for the Department of Defense that'll be closer to actually being nominated. Um, and then, so I looked into RFK Jr., I feel, <clears throat> and when I get into his energy, he is, his, I know he had the worm in his brain. Um, some of his ideas, not so much anti-vaxxers and no fluoride because those are both good things. But, Food additives, yes, there's a lot of things that we need to do about our food. I mean, in Europe, a lot of things are banned, and in the States, they can dump so many things into our food, so many chemicals, and I think that could be looked at, honestly. But when I'm in his energy, I feel tired. I shouldn't feel tired because he's not, I think he's a little older than me, but I feel tired. Um, And I don't know if, this is, sounds kind of weird, like he doesn't know what to do. He's, you know, he already has ideas, but it's like a blank. I feel like I'm blank. Like, maybe it's he's waiting to be confirmed. Um, I think he does have a list of things. I see a list of things in front of him, but he doesn't have the channel through which to make them real yet. And so let's see when you get, I feel like he, he thinks there's a wall between him and the job still. I don't necessarily feel he thinks it's going to happen or he knows that there's going to be a hurdle. Um, I asked if he was going to get it. It got battle. I feel he might really run into some... I feel like it would be nice if it had a doctor or scientist in front of Health and Human Services, but he is going to run into some trouble. I think he knows something that we don't know. I think there's some talk... Um, and he's been pretty pro out there, so and he ran for president, but I don't necessarily I don't know if he 100% thinks he can get in and I think he has his list and he has his plans but I think he's I don't want to say ignorant because I but I feel like there's a lot of things he doesn't know and he's not doesn't think he's going to be able to get there and there will be a battle like I saw that I don't he's it's going to be a fine line the Republicans Mostly will say okay to him. But I don't. At this moment, I don't think he would get confirmed. At this moment. Things can change. Free will and all that. New cycles. People learn things. 
they find out things down the road, but I do feel like he's concerned and he, he isn't a hundred percent sure, but it's funny. It's like, I have a blank, like he's not moving forward. He's just standing here. It's very strange. They get a Kleenex. Pam Bondi. She is now the nominee for the Attorney General of the United States of America. And she was 20 years the Attorney General of Florida. And she, I guess she's a toughie. But she fills the requirement of being a pretty woman. So, um, yeah. Does he ever pick women that have short hair? Just want to know. Everybody's got long hair. It's so strange. Um, I do think they're going to say okay to her. Yep, I do think so. And she's, she actually, I feel like she's going to butt heads with some of the people on the cabinet when it comes to this immigration um, uh, mass deportation that they're planning. Uh, there'll be lawsuits, obviously, and things. I think there's going to be some, not that she doesn't want to do it, but she's going to be butting heads with somebody in the Department of Justice or... I think it's one of his other picks. The immigration czar guy. I don't remember his name. Um, it's not going to flow like that, that particular subject. She's going to want to go after Trump's enemies. Um, it'll make a lot of noise. But that, that's okay. Um, there'll be nothing. It'll make a lot of noise. People will have to go to court and it'll be a mess. But, but it's day by day. Let's not just assume all of this is absolutely in the absolutely happening we don't have to get into crisis mode and the hair's on fire like i said um because we have a community look we have a community we're all connected we're all um talking to each other and we're all going to work together to make a community so uh okay so there's that tulsi gabbard okay gabbard director of national intelligence which is a huge thing and like i said she used to be democrat she went republican and now she's gone far right mega seriously. Um, yes, she has been talking to Russia, kind of like Musk has been talking to Russia. Um, the Muskrat has been talking a lot in the past and still is. He's talking to a lot of different countries. I'm sorry, I just went into him. And so that's why I got distracted. Um, he is so excited. He is so excited. He's got all these plans. And, oh, you know what? In the past, I've seen him give a list to Trump of all these things he wants to do. Now, he's a little bit on the outside. He's been delegated, you know, he's been, yeah, he's been delegated some tasks, but they don't coincide with his ideas as easily as they both would like. They don't mesh. There's things that are overlapping, but we've got Donnie who, you know, probably cheated his way through school. And then we've got Musk who's a genius, the, you know, genius for power and money. And they don't always think like, and they're both narcissistic. I don't know if um, Muskrat's a sociopath, but he just doesn't think about anybody but himself. So it might be a narcissist. Anyway, the point is, Musk is talking to bunches of different China, even Korea. Is that possible? He is talking to a bunch of countries and not, he's like a vice, not vice president, but he's assistant pres president. So he's channeling, he's sending all this information or they're talking back and forth. And we're going to do this and this and this. We're going to plan to do this. If you, you know, agree to do this, we're going to have these great partnerships. You guys will have so much money and it'll be awesome. Um, but I think especially China and Russia looks at him kind of side-eyed like, okay, that's fine. Let's do that. They are totally 
playing him in so many ways. So many ways. They may go through some process, but I can see them going, yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. Let's let's combine our force. Let's all let's have that cooperative thing. But they're going to be they're going to be cheating or sneaking and doing some really bad bad shit. Um anyway, Chelsea Gabbard. I'm sorry. I went off track on the muskrat. Um Chelsea Gabbard. Oh, so she has been in the past, but in the moment right now when I'm in her energy, she's pulled in. She, um, she's focusing on Trump. She's right here next to him. She's like, he's here. And I'm like, right here, here, if I'm her, she is, um, very focused on doing the things she needs to do to get that position. Um, and really working on him or working to engage him. Um, what's the right word? explain to him how she can make it work or how she's going to do a good job. Um, yeah, she's already had lots of talks in the past with Russia. It's almost like, yeah, it's in the bank. I got this and I'll just check on it later. But right now she's here. She's not going to look like anything is out of the ordinary. She's going to look like she's very focused on America. And honestly, I do think... She, she would let, I can see her um, letting a, a stream of information go back and forth, like spy things or like secret intelligence. It's dark, like river. Um, she's already talked about what I read was that she wants to eliminate a bunch of this um, intelligence spy network stuff that is really half of what they get for intelligence. She wants to eliminate a lot of that. But that's where they get their intelligence many times. And well, she she wants to and I think that might be what she's telling Trump. She's explaining to him what she'd be doing. Um, but that was but I think when she gets in there, these different intelligence departments, CIA, um, Homeland Security, whoever else she oversees, they will, n we, she won't be able to get what she wants due to the interconnectedness of a lot of different things, especially the military or the um the possibility of people getting hurt in areas because they will be found out because she will pull people in or stop things or so she knows it's 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 like a web and she wants to take all of this out but i don't see her doing it able to do it she might like cut some things out here and there, but I don't see her doing that. But I also don't, I think there is a channel that she is letting Russia in. She's horrible, very treasonous. That's terrible. I mean, that's what I see. For entertainment purposes only, I have no idea if I'm accurate or not. I might not be. <laughs> Anything I see might not be accurate. Anyway, uh, yeah. And, um, Linda McMahon for Secretary of Education, and they want to really privatize all of education and put it to the states. In fact, Arizona's superintendent of schools, he's fine, wants to do that because we have a lot of charter schools in Arizona, a lot, and they're privatized. So guess what? Federal money goes to those schools, and it's a business. People get money. It's not just the public education. Now, public education needs a big ramp, a big revamp, overhaul. Yes. But what will happen is the poor kids won't be able to pick and choose the school. They'll have to stay in their neighborhood and they'll go to public school and they'll be watered down and they won't have the education and the kids will be dumbed down and then they'll be able to be manipulated as they 
get, get older. It's all part of this larger long-term scheme. And it's about money, money being made. Not so much about the goodness of society, unfortunately. So again, she's one of the characters in this reality show. Um, yeah, she's like Betsy DeVos. Um, I'm going to channel that money into all these different companies that say they could do it better. I feel like she doesn't, she's another one like RFK Jr. where she doesn't know if she can do this. It's like there's a little bit of a wall, a white-ish wall, and um, meaning she has to get over this hurdle. And so she hasn't um, planned thoroughly or anything. She's just waiting. I think she might get confirmed. <sighs> um. Yeah, and then I already told you about Heg Seth. He falls off the rails. I see him just walking, walking off the side. And then they'll find somebody else to replace him. Oh, yeah, and the public voting machines. Now, they did an investigation, and they got the software so they can, you know, inspect it and find out if it could be hacked back in 2020, 2022. And people had asked me, if do I think they, you know, reconfigured it now so it could be hacked so they could get into it and I've said this in the past, there's some fraud, there's some ballots missing, there's some, there was some empty trucks where they were supposed to move things here and there. I don't see widespread fraud, but that's me. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't see it. I think it was just a matter of people are very unhappy and they picked the orange uh, Donny head. Um, thinking anything is better than what they have now because they're not critical thinking or maybe some of them really just need change. I don't know. But um, public voting machines or the Republicans. Oh, yeah, they have a whole, they have a little know, company or a staff or a, I know uh, Ivanka bought the machines or she got the patent for the machines there. It's one more angle for them to control voting. It's at the moment, it's too many diverse types of voting machines in different states, in different counties, in different precinct. There's too many that is be able to be controllable at the moment, but they do have a group or a staff, or um, somebody dedicated to this, to how people, the machines are voting, how, um, or how they, they're tallied, that votes, votes are tallied, the ballots are tallied, how that's happening. There's people dedicated to that. They're being paid to do that um, by outside rich people. Yes, outside rich people donors and it's a sneaky ass way to do things she's part of it uh Ivanka's but I don't see her you know and I do see them possibly switching votes but just a fraction like I don't know if it was testing or they didn't want to make it too obvious. And I've heard other readers say they made it too obvious. Oh, mischief. Okay. Did they? Let's look at this group. This group that I didn't know existed till just now. Um, voting machine software. Um, check runners or investigators or management or hackers nature anomaly I'm looking at us I see all these lights all these dandelions all these birds so there's an abundance of so many things that we can just sneak a little 
they can just change a few. And it wouldn't be mass amount. It'd just be a little here and there. I think that's what they're working on. Not terrible. Um, but how I'm going to look at this is that it's going to be found out. It's going to be too obvious. Somebody's going to figure it out. Somebody not with that group. Somebody else is going to figure it out and say, oh, I see what they did. And they're going to figure it out. And they're going to hide. They're going to try and hide amongst all these other little votes because they're white. And they're going to try and do that. But they're going to find, be found out. Do I think that... Oh, territory. Do I think they will be found out and change the result of the election this time? It's so embedded. It's really hard to find. But it's not like so, so obvious. It's slight. Routine. Back and forth. Um, I think not yet. Not yet. I think there are people working on it to see if there is that possibility. And I know the recounts have only so much limited time. But the point is, is down the road, they are investigating like beyond just election time just looking at these things all the time to see if they can be manipulated and they will find that something has been manipulated and musk's is maybe um i know he has access to all kinds of stuff and maybe that's the group that you know that i'm seeing the with that the rich donors are paying for But ultimately, I think the truth is going to come out. Okay. And then one last thing. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So I'm <clears throat> Labradorite. I love my Labradorite. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm in her energy. And I feel like just this little, little tiny woman going like super, like a little boy. But I know she's... Well, small woman but I felt like a little boy who's run run and go and go and go uh okay thank you for your service to the country and I see her little lace collar she used to wear she says fear not the law is the law the law is the law Right now, it's being covered with, she used the word mischief, but it's like I see a haze or a um, noisy confusion on top of the law, which is solid and dense underneath, like a brownie, like a dense brownie. Mm. And so it's almost like they put like whipped cream and all kinds of other stuff, but not even that good. It's more like a haze or like if you put cotton candy on top of it or something, that would be um, nasty. I don't know who likes cotton candy. It always looks like it's going to taste good, but it never does. Anyway, but she says the law is the law and that that is not going to change. There's that fly. Um she says they can chew away at little things on the edges, some amendments, and then she is concerned about certain things that can pierce some of the brownie. Um, but she says it's very thick and not hard, but immovable, like, um, you know, brownies are. And, and she's showing me the timeline. So this is here and all the noise and the whipped cream, cotton candy stuff. And there's going to be some more additional things after this period of time to change. Don't ch But they're not going to change the main law. They're going to add these other... I don't know if the amendment is the right word, um, additional restrictions or additional ways to look at the law, but they're not the basis of the law. They're like more noise, more um, 
make the immunity thing for the president, which is a real thing that they cho- they um, voted on. But the basis of the law is there. The only thing is I see it's not getting bigger. I see this cotton candy white stuff that's not good as just white and noisy and fluffy. But it's not based in anything. It's only temporarily. It's the mood. It's the time. It's what they want to do. Um, oh, she's Abraham Lincoln is there with her. I have no idea why. I've never, I love him. He's one of my favorite presidents. I just think he's amazing. He had to deal with so much in his time. Um, he's from Illinois, Landa Lincoln. Um, and he's talking about the Civil War and how he put his body over the law. Like he laid his body over it and protected it so nobody could change it or split up the union. Like he protected, you know, you somebody's attacking your kid or whatever, you throw your body on top or cover him in a storm or whatever. Um, he's saying there are people, like I see over there, there are people that... are coming up from that side to attack that white cotton candy noise. And then they're aiming for the law. They're like, it's, but they're (laughs) brown and orange. I don't know what they are, but they're, so the future goes this way. Say the future is moving this way. They've got the noise on top and all this other stuff. And there's a lot of things around it. Like people don't understand or we're not seeing the law. We're only seeing this other stuff, this crazy shit that's flying around it and sitting on top of it. But he's he's pointing out in the future things will sh- things will shift to where that stuff somebody will get through it and this new direction. It's it's a new direction. And it's orange and brown. And um And I see Sheldon Whitehouse, you know, the guy who's always saying dark monies and everything. And and I do see um, a path. I do. But Ruth Bader Ginsburg, she's just saying it's what it is right now. And she's really disappointed in her fellow justices. And she loves Katanji Brown. Jackson Brown or whatever, not Jackson, Brown Jackson. She loves her. She thinks she's amazing. And she's really smart. And she's not going to back down. She's tough. She loves her. And she's part of the one moving forward, actually, that actually leads a path to that new thing. But it's not anytime soon, guys. It's down the road. Um, but what about all this money? And she said, yep. That's what's doing it. All this money, all this political noise, it's covering up all the law and all what's real for us. But I do see that path opening up over time. So that's good. It's not a little skinny path like to Russia thing. It's like wide. So, but it is going that direction. So there will be a pivot. There will be a turn. And and, uh, I don't know what that's about, but I'll keep checking in on that. I hate to mix whipped cream and cotton candy because those two things are not good together, but it wasn't as good as whipped cream. It's like a cloud of cotton candy, you know. It's like a circus. That's the vibe, right? That's the feeling. But underneath is delicious brownie. I think that was it. That's all I wanted to share, except you guys are going to get through this. Um, Thank you for coming by, and I'm going to keep checking in these different images that I get. And, you know, when you're scared... Ask God for guidance. Ask spirit to give you strength. I ask God and spirit to protect me. I don't live in fear. I do not live in fear. I live in joy and all the possibilities of unity lying ahead. And just ask for courage and strength. All right, guys. Till next time.